The twin-engine deck-based fighter will conduct its first flight in 2026, and will be cleared for production in 2030. It will have a maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons, that makes it 1.5 tons heavier than the French Rafale M. The TED BF will be powered by the American F-414 engines, that generates 58.5 kN dry thrust and 98 kN wet thrust, which is better than the 50 kN dry thrust and 75 kN wet thrust generated by the French Snecma M88 engines of the Rafale M. The TED BF and Rafale M will have a maximum speed of around 1.8 Mach, but the Indian TED BF has a service ceiling of 60,000 feet, which is 10,000 feet higher than the French Rafale M. The TED BF can carry 5.5 tons of fuel internally, as compared to 4.7 tons of the Rafale M. The TED BF will have 11 hard points, as compared to 13 hard points on the Rafale M, but the TED BF will feature foldable wings to facilitate easy storage on aircraft carrier, which is not available on the Rafale M. The TED BF will also feature data fusion, advanced avionics and a ESA radar, leading edge extension to improve the airflow at high angles of attack, divertless air intakes and stealth optimized frontal section like the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet. India has made a real capability leap after yesterday's successful test of SFDR propulsion technology, as it will lead to the development of 350 km range Astra Mark III air-to-air -air missile. The SFDR flies at high supersonic speeds of around Mach 2.5, which is higher than the existing Mach 1.9 capable JF-17 and Mach 2.1 capable J-20, which means that the Astra Mark III will easily respond to any evasive maneuvers that the enemy aircraft might perform. The incredibly high velocity of the Astra Mark III will generate a lot of kinetic energy, and even after the missile's propellant is consumed, it will give it enough momentum to keep traveling towards the enemy fighter jet. The DRDO will use the SFDR technology with multiple applications, including air-to-air -air missiles and the next-generation tactical surface-to-air defense system. After jointly developing SFDR propulsion technology and other high-tech subsystems with Russia's Rosbaron export, the DRDO is now going ahead solo with the program. After signing the agreement for Brahmos system with Philippines, the Modi government has fast-tracked the sale of Brahmos system and the Akash air defense system to Vietnam. Top officials have informed that discussions have started to upgrade the Akash system to the Mark II variant, so that the Mark I can be sold to foreign countries, while the 800 km range Brahmos extended range variant will also be tested by the end of 2021. They also said that the development tests of the 200 km range Pranash tactical surface to surface missile will begin in the next few months, and it will also be exported to friendly foreign countries. Ammunition manufactured by the Ordnance Factory Board has again come under the spotlight, as two new incidents have taken place over the last two weeks, and both are related to barrel burst and premature blast in the muzzle of the 105mm field guns of the Indian Army and the Border Security Force. The spokesperson of the Ordnance Factory Board has said that such incidents can be caused due to a number of reasons, including poor maintenance of the 105mm gun, and storage maintenance and shelf life related issues of the ammunition. India's Jindal Group has joined the race to buy the Reliance Naval and Engineering Limited, while the Russian government-owned United Shipbuilding Corporation is seen as the second serious contender, and reports indicate that both the Jindal Group and Russian government officials have recently completed the inspection of the Pipovov shipyard.